Because one thing for one and two things for two. Ain't nobody stopping nothing, boo! your girl been on here with a call center video okay so if you guys have not watched my other youtube video on how i started my virtual call center industry you might want to go look at that before looking at this because this is for people that already know like we don't already met the family we already introduced one another like we locked in like we married you know what i'm saying so if you haven't seen that video go watch that before watching this one all right but anywho for those of y'all that are returning to my channel, thank y'all so much for 11K views, okay? And it's only been five months. 11K views, y'all. And I just, life been life. But I am here, okay? And I'm here with some updates. I'm here with some gems. I'm here with some tea. Um, and that's that. So, yeah, that's me in the background. Y'all probably see me on the TV, okay? That's the video I'm referring to. So, if you haven't checked it out, go check that out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Because you're going to always miss out on the tea if you're not subscribed. So, go ahead and subscribe, okay? Anywho, you guys, I am so thankful and so honored that people <laughs> literally trust me with their business like they trust my knowledge they trust my expertise they do not like they're, they're not like um um hesitant to work with me like when i tell y'all people like they just be so eager so excited they done did they research on me they done did they studies on me and they just be ready to trust me with their business and i truly appreciate that because it is a lot for somebody to trust you like it's a lot for god to even choose you to be trusted with his people you know what i'm saying so that's something that i do not take lightly but um you guys today i'm going to be talking about how to start your call center on your own okay i want to tell you guys the website what to do i want to give you guys some marketing tips some marketing strategies things that you can do in this holiday season right now that your costs in the business can get those agents okay so let's go first thing i want you guys to do is go ahead and think of your call center name okay i want you to go ahead and think of your call center name um because you need a name that is brandable, a name that can be on billboards if you wanted it to, a name that you can see commercials on, a name that somebody can pick up and say, hey, I want your business in my establishment or something like that, like something you can see on a t-shirt, something that just really ties in work from home, people, and connections. So you guys know my call center is Five Star Connections. Five Star Connections, Five Star Agents, Five Star Experience, Five Star Customer Service, everything Five Star, Five Star Connections. We're really partnering with different Fortune 500 companies making Five Star Connections. That's the name of my company. So you guys gotta think of something that, you know, really speaks to the people, it speaks to your um, niche of business, and it's not something like um, Dee Dee's hair store, hair store, or, um, um, I want to rock LLC. Like you need something that is like, okay, that's a call center. That's a virtual call center. You don't want people like, mm, what is that? What exactly do they do? You know what I'm saying? So that's the first thing I want y'all to do. Write down y'all business name. Think of y'all business names. Google if y'all have to. Like get some ideas. Um, a few of my students work on Wi-Fi.com. That's probably one of my favorites. Um, another one, Elevate on Wi-Fi. One that just launched today. Okay, Guaranteed Connections. I really like that one too. So think of something. That's the first thing I want y'all to do. Call center name, okay? Now, the second thing that I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go ahead and go to the IRS website and get y'all EIN, okay? You do not have to get your LLC before getting your EIN. Yes, you're gonna need your LLC, but you can still go to the irs.gov website and get your EIN. You do not have to wait for an LLC to be filed and all that extra stuff, okay? No, EINs are free. Okay, do not be bamboozled out here. Don't let nobody tell y'all that EINs cost money. Yes, there's people that charge y'all because they gotta file it, but it is free, okay? All you gotta do is go to irs.gov. Make sure you are on irs.gov, not anything extra because they got many irs.gov familiar looking websites, okay? So yeah, it's getting crazy out here. The scammers are scamming, all right? So you wanna go ahead and get your EIN. Once you get your EIN, I want you guys to head over to Arise Work From Home, okay? AriseWorkFromHome.com. 
and you want to create your profile. Now, for those of you that are in certain states, which I believe Illinois, I think Maryland, I think um, New York, if you are in one of those states, I want you to get either a virtual address or I want you to use a friend or family member address in another state that is eligible, okay? You're never going to receive any mail there. It is only for profile purposes. I want you to go ahead, arisebrookfromhome.com, create your profile, and go ahead and get signed up, all right? Now, if you just got your EIN today, if you try to link your um, EIN on the Arise website, it's not gonna go through. It's gonna give you an error message. So I advise that you wait at least three to five business days before moving forward and trying to put that EIN inside the uh, portal, all right? Now, once you create your profile, it's gonna give you the option, either sole proprietor, join a service partner, or um, um, register a company, okay? So if you already have an EIN already that you've had more than three or five days, okay, your EIN should go ahead and register. So I would click register a company, okay? Once you click register a company, it's gonna ask for your, your business name and your EIN number, all right? Once you put in that EIN number along with your business name, you click next, a list of waivers are gonna pop up for you to sign. Now you're gonna have to sign waivers for your virtual call center, NDAs and different just contracts and paperwork, stuff like that. Nothing technical, nothing. Just basically saying that Arise is not an employer. They are, you are a 1099 independent contractor. Those that um, register on your virtual call center, there are also going to be 10, 1099 independent contractors and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So those are the waivers that you're going to be signing. Now, once you finish signing those waivers and you finalize your registration, you're now going to be logged in into your portal as an IBO, independent business owner. So you should no longer see your name at the top. You should see that EIN name that you did for your virtual call center. All right. So if you, you know, you're going through this process right now, you're doing everything step by step right now, you can still create your profile. Go ahead and sign up as a sole proprietor. Okay. Go ahead and sign up as a sole proprietor. I'm giving y'all many ways on how y'all can link this EIN. It's not the end of the world if it does not work with the whole register your company. It's, it's more than one way to skin a cat, you know what I'm saying? So calm down. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to, um, once you uh, click sole proprietor, we're gonna go over to profile on the portal. You should see on the right hand side, something that says profile. And then you're gonna click information. Once you click information, you should see in yellow or orange writing, register independent business, okay? So now you're already on the portal as a sole proprietor. Yes, you're probably gonna see your name at the top because you haven't linked that EIN yet. So once it's been three to five days and you're like, okay, let me try my EIN out, go to profile, click information in orange or yellow letters, you're gonna see something that says register new independent business. You're gonna click that register new independent business and once you click that, it's gonna do the same thing that it asks if you were to do it while you were signing up in the beginning. That EIN name as well as that EIN number. Once you click next, you're gonna sign those little waivers. Once you sign those waivers, you're gonna log out, wait about five minutes, two to five minutes, log back in. You're no longer gonna see your name at the top. You're gonna see your virtual call center name, okay? So these are the first few steps that you need to register your virtual call center onto the profile, okay? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna get your call center name. Go ahead and think of that. Then you're gonna go ahead and get that EIN. And if you are ready, you know, you in a moment and you just want to get everything done, everything ready, go ahead and get your LLC. If you guys need assistance with LLC, my other company, J Marketing Solutions, we help you file LLCs, trademarks, um, business, um, business agreements, operating agreements, all kind of different things that you need for your business. We help you do that. Contracts, all kind of stuff. If you need to get your LLC or your trademark, you don't know how to do that, you can, I'll leave the, um, look in the description, I'll leave details on how you can get that done through my company, J Marketing Solutions. But if you got it, you got it, okay? But anywho, once you get that EIN, cool. Head over to riseworkfromhome.com. You're going to create your profile. Once you create your profile, you're going to link that EIN, whether it's to register your company when you're doing a profile or you're signing up as sole proprietor and you're doing it manually. Once you're already on the portal, you're going over to profile information, clicking register new independent business, and you're putting your EIN in your um your EIN name, and then you sign in those waivers, and voila, you have a virtual call center. Hear me. Once you got that virtual call center link, you're going to go back over to profile information. You're going to see something in information that says service partner ID. It's going to say your EIN, and it's also going to say your address, your phone number, I believe, your business name, and but it's also going to say service partner ID. 
Now, this is like your social security number for your um, your, your virtual call center. This is what people are going to use to apply under your virtual call center. So people are going to use that same link, ariseworkfromhome.com, to create their own profile. But instead of them clicking sole proprietor or clicking um, join service partner, I mean, uh, uh, or click, clicking uh, register new company, they're going to click join service partner. Now, once they click join service partner, they're going to put in your service service partner ID number, all right? They're gonna put in your service partner ID number. Once they put in your service partner ID number, that's when you're gonna be able to go on your portal and under tasks, lower hand, right side, you're gonna see something that says tasks. You're gonna have somebody that wants to apply that you have to accept. It's gonna say join IB request. Now you as an IBO, independent business owner, your agents are CSPs. So it's gonna say join IB CSP request. That means they're trying to join your independent business to be a certified service partner. What is an IBO? Independent business owner. What is this, a CSP? A certified service partner. So that means that once they put in your service partner ID, they're gonna, you're gonna have to go under tasks and you're gonna have to accept them under your virtual call center. Now you're not done yet, okay? You're not done. Once you accept them on your virtual call center, they're going to have to go sign some more waivers on their end. Nothing to do with you. They got to sign some waivers that they're going through the, the prompts with the rise. Okay. Then you're going to get another notification under task that you need to join IB finalization. Okay. That means that you've accepted them onto the call center. Now you got to finalize them onto the call center. Once you've accepted them, you finalize them. That's when you need to do what I tell people, a welcome video, okay? And a welcome video is simply like an onboarding video. You gotta think about it. All of this is virtual. So you wanna get in front of a camera, have a nice background like me. Welcome to Five Star Connections. We are so glad to have you under our virtual call center. If you're watching this video, that means that you need to take your assessment. In your assessment, you'll be doing a vir uh, um, uh, multiple choice assessment as well as a um, voice assessment. In the multiple choice assessment, they're asking you different questions such as what if a different what if a um, customer called in angry how would you handle the situation a b c d there is no wrong answer but there is a not so smart answer okay now in this voice assessment they're checking the clarity of your speech so make sure that you enunciate your words now again once you complete your assessment you're not going to be able to see the company's pay but you will be able to see the different companies to choose from that's when you have to email us to inquire about the pay Blah, 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 blah. That is your welcome video. And I tell people the main thing for the welcome video is that you want people to not just be accepted and finalized onto your call center. Now they got to like, now what? This is your business. You got to onboard them. Like you got to hold their hand through this process. Many people don't understand. When I started my virtual call center back in 2018, late 2018, going into 2019, when I started my virtual call center, I had my foot all the way in my business. I wasn't as automated as I am now. I wasn't as, you know, hands off kind of as I am now because I got people, you know, I don't even have a team, but I got a nice VA and I got an assistant that does everything that I need them to do. I got ADP for payroll. Everything is cool. So I'm not really concerned about you know, having to really, as far as me, I'm just the marketing, okay? I'll hop in front of a camera all day, every day and promote my virtual call center and I'll wake up overnight, got uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of views on TikTok or something and I'm like, whoa, where are all these people coming from? Another video that went viral. So me, I just see myself as the marketing person for my own company. I hop on here, I do a video promoting work from home and that's just what it is. So once you have um, accepted and finalized them, I recommend that you send out a YouTube video, okay? Your YouTube video, I mean, well, your welcome video, which is going to be a YouTube link, a private link. So when they email you and say, hey, um, can you please finalize me onto your call center? I'm waiting. You're going to email back and say you've been finalized onto the call center. Please see welcome video below. It's going to have that YouTube link. They open that YouTube link. It's, hey, welcome to da-da-da-da-da connections. Welcome to so-and-so da-da-da. We're so glad to have you. First thing first, it's time to do your assessment. You want to have enthusiasm. You want to have that tone so that you can actually, you know, speak to them and, and make them feel welcome, make them excited to even be working for your company. Not hello. Welcome to Five Star Connections. And what we're going to do is you're going to have to do your assessment. Once you do your assessment, you're going to have to do a multiple choice assessment 
and a voice assessment and, and, and you don't want to sound like a robot like like <laughs> be enthusiastic give the energy I'm sitting up in here in the house by myself and I'm on 10 about to go to the gym out this because I just I woke up this morning with a little a little pep in my step like it's something about this last quarter that I just feel a second win I feel like God just blew on my back and I'm on go right now you know what I'm saying and and, and, and that's what you, that's what they need to feel in your welcome video that we we mean business we're not playing if you're watching this video get that assessment done you got 48 hours or you're released from my company I don't need nobody just under my company just just to see what it's about are you working or not and if you're not working, move on, move along. Cause there's people that want to work. Okay. So now you have a virtual call center. You got your company ID number, AKA service partner ID number, AKA your social for your business, whatever. That's how people identify your business. If they do not put your company ID number, service partner ID, whatever, when they are signing up after they click join service partner, you're going to have to go through support, they're gonna to have to manually do it. It's gonna be a whole headache. I advise you, like, in the beginning, yeah, you wanna hold their hand through that process because you got some people that just don't listen. However, however, at this point with me, I tell my sister, don't even don't even respond. We don't we don't need that. It's it's slowing us down right now. I got the agents, the number of agents that I need, and I'm gonna get many more, okay? But what I'm not gonna do is is play with people that don't wanna listen. I told y'all, you got to put your company ID number in. It's imperative. If you do not put my company ID number in, you're going to sign all the way up and you're not going to be assigned to me. Now I got to go waste time and energy and put you under my company. But I can do that. And one thing I want to tell people, especially I tell my mentee this all the time, you can't do what I do. Respectfully, okay? You have to do what I did and then do what I do. All right? So what I did was, yes, it was annoying but I had to get them people under my virtual call center. I can't stand mentors and people that's teaching, you know, their, their mentees and stuff, things that they doing now. Talk to, talk to them about how you had to crawl before you had to walk. You know what I'm saying? Let them know the actual mistakes that you made so that they can avoid those mistakes. Don't just talk about all the cookie cutter, all the cute stuff. Talk about the nitty gritty stuff, the annoying stuff, the frustrating stuff, okay? So I tell my mentee this all the time. You may see me not post for a week, all right? That does not mean you cannot post for a week and you just launch your virtual call center. Are you crazy? I should be seeing your call center in my face every single day. I should wake up thinking about your call center. I should go to sleep thinking about your call center. I should wake up again thinking about your call center. I should go to sleep thinking about your call center. I should be eating lunch thinking about your call center in the middle of the day. Okay? I should never go a day without seeing your virtual call center a flyer, a video, a post, whatever, I don't care. Every single day I should see something, whether it's on your page or whether it's on your story, okay? So if you have started a virtual call center and you're wondering why it's not successful, you probably are and I always can just hit the dagger on the bullseye. You're not consistent. You're looking at other people, you're you're not promoting, you're not, at first it was a whole excuse, oh, when are the jobs going to come back on the portal? It's only like two jobs on the portal right now. Even then, I was still hiring people for those two jobs. Now we got over 10 jobs on the portal and it's still excuses. I don't like that. And if you're watching me and you feel some conviction because you have brought my ebook or you are one of my, I can't even lie, my mentees? No, I do not play, okay? But maybe you got my ebook. Maybe you like, dang, my call center is it's slow. It's not really taking off the way I want it to. Are you consistent? Are you posting every day? Are you letting these people know that, oh, you y'all do really good announcing the call center. Oh, we're just lunch. We're lunch. We're open for business. And then crickets. And then don't nobody hear nothing else from y'all. They only, then it's like four days past and you posting a flyer. People like, um, is this a scam? Is this even legit? Okay? So you can't do what I do. I did years, months, okay, of being consistent every single day. Why do people want to work with John C? Because they've been seeing John C grinding her virtual call center out, and they see the they see the fruit of my labor. Literally, y'all see it as witnesses. If you've been with me back in 2018, you see the success my virtual call center has today, and we're still growing. So I can relax a little bit. 
I can take a week off a little bit and focus on one of my other streams. You know what I'm saying? But when this is a virtual call center that you just started and you think you could just be lax and comfortable, be so for real. <laughs> it's not going to work. The money ain't going to be consistent if you're not consistent. The people are not going to be consistent if you're not consistent. Think about it. When we when we looking at clothes or we looking at makeup and it's a new company, but they got some good branding. They got something that's appeasing because don't get me wrong. Work from home. When you promote it, you market it. It, it does numbers. It's, you know, people want to work from home. You don't have to sell anything. You're giving people a job. Okay. But when we like looking at makeup, it's a new company. We may be like, oh, the branding is cute. Okay. That's cute. Da, da, da. And the more we see it, the more we're going to be like, you know what? Especially TikTok shop. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it. I'm going to just go ahead and do it. But, you know, you see it and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. A month passed. Life done happened. You done broke up with your person. You done, you, 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 uh, you, you, um, you done twisted your ankle. You done, you know, just life done happened. And you like, you see their post after life done happened. You're not even intrigued no more. Oh, I remember when I seen that. That's cool. But you ain't been seeing it as consistent as you've been seeing it. So you're not even interested in it no more. So what do you think people going to do with your costume? They're going to keep scrolling. You're not consistent. You're a joke to them. You're a freaking joke. Okay? You're a joke. Anywho. That is how you guys start your virtual call center business, okay? I gave you guys the steps. I gave you guys exactly what you need as far as flyers, as far as marketing, as far as anything such as that. That's why you need to get a mentor. That's why you need to go ahead and get the ebook. The ebook gives you guys marketing strategies. It gives you guys the whole, everything that I just spoke on in this video right now. It breaks down all of that. It breaks down the SOW, your contracts that you have to send to your agents. And it breaks down everything as far as even launching your virtual call center. So maybe you need to go ahead and start with that virtual call center on Six Figure Blueprint. That's what you need to go ahead and grab. But for those of you that probably already got my ebook, okay, or you got the ebook, but you also still want to get some more assistance from me. One of the updates that I want to give you guys is that I do not do the course replay no more. I simply only do the ebook, which is my hands off method. Okay. You read the ebook, you do everything I taught you in the ebook and you go ahead and you, you go fly on your own. Okay. I trust you. All right. Or you can book a consultation with me. This is one of my new services. I have a 15 minute consultation and I have a, um, 60 minute consultation. All right. I believe the 15 minute consultation is, I want to say 500 and I believe the 60 minute, no, no, no. I lied. The 15 minute consultation is 250 and the um, 60 minute consultation is 850. All right. And I'll leave the description below on how you can book a call. So I just have somebody that launched your virtual call center today. Um, guarantee connections. His name is one second. Let me, um, cause he just tagged me literally. Give him a little shout out real quick. So congratulations y'all to Maddie1C. I think his name is Matt, but he booked a call with me last week y'all. And he had got the ebook and he had his questions already written down, but I had did my own thing too. I had already walked him through everything and you know, just really kind of quizzed him just to see like, okay, are you at where I think you at? You know what I'm saying? So congratulations to Maddie1C. He said, um, exciting news, thrilled to announce the launch of my very own virtual call center, Guarantee Connections. We're actively hiring and ready to guide you on your boss journey, all from the comfort of your home. I love that. At Guarantee Connections, we're linked with various Fortune 500 companies, bringing opportunities to your fingertips soon. If you're 18 plus with a laptop or desktop, congratulations, you're hired, and that's true. Get set to reclaim control over your time and money. Positions are filling up fast, which they do be, okay? Hurry up to my website or click the, click the link in my bio to apply, www.guarantee-connections.com. Period. Shout out to I'm Dot Johnsy for her knowledge and expertise. And you're absolutely welcome. So he got the ebook. 
he was able to, you know, launch his virtual call center, but he wanted some more clarity. He was actually asking me questions that had nothing to do with the launch of his call center, but more so like once his call center is up and jumping. So that just already lets me know the vision that he has for his call center. He know he about to take off with the team and he wanted some extra assistance and that's exactly what I did. Okay, so congratulations, Matt. I'm proud of you. Thanks for getting the ebook. I wish you many figures onto your virtual call center business and that's just that. So if you guys are looking to start your virtual virtual call center, do the steps that I gave you. I already just gave you the platform. I showed you how to um, link your, your EIN so that you can get your company ID number. Now you make you a flyer telling people, hey, I'm now hiring, go to my website or email me below. You wanna give them that company ID number. I'm gonna show you guys an example of one of my students flyers. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some on the screen right now. So you guys can just see like a, a, a little example of what the flyers be looking like. Uh, for the um when when they either go to the website and they put submit after they don't put their first and last name and phone number and all that stuff they click submit it automatically sends out this flyer to them all right so you guys want to create something like that go to wix and do your website if you guys need a website a landing page done you can inquire about that too my company j marketing solutions we do all of that we do flyers we do websites we do um um helping you um with your branding helping you with your marketing all kind of just different things you can inquire more about that i'm not going to make this video about that but I didn't gave you guys how to start your virtual call center. Now it's up to you. Now you need to get your agents, all right? It's time for you to get your agents under your virtual call center. So the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is ways that you can market your virtual call center business. All right, so the last thing that I wanna to touch on is different ways that you can market your virtual call center. Now, from my own success and from my mentee's feedback, what they have told me that works for them is number one on the list, Facebook groups, okay? Facebook groups. You have many different Facebook groups. I'm talking about work from home groups. I hate my nine to five groups. I'm ready to be my own boss groups. All on Facebook. I'm talking about hundreds of groups and not even just the ones that got thousands of people in the groups. Even the small groups that probably got only 50 to 100 people. You want to post your marketing and let them know that your virtual call center is hiring. Facebook groups is number one on my list, okay? If you have been having a little bit of struggle with getting people under your virtual call center, do not put all your eggs in one basket. You don't have to have a million followers on social media, on TikTok or anything like that. You can just simply use what people do not even know you for. Facebook groups, they do not know you, okay? They just looking for an opportunity. So post that opportunity in the Facebook groups, okay? Now that's the first thing, Facebook groups. The second thing from my own success and feedback from even my mentees to confirm craigslist okay believe it or not it's people all day every day searching for jobs on craigslist and i know y'all probably like oh she hasn't said indeed yet hold on because this is number two craigslist is topping indeed on, on, on any day okay craigslist you want to post your flyer you want to post even if it's not your flyer you just want to post an ad work from home agents need it okay that's how you want to work that need it not we're hiring, okay, but needed. Work from home agents needed or remote workers needed, okay? In caps, needed, all right, on Craigslist. First is Facebook, Facebook groups. Second is Craigslist. Now, the third platform that I would say that you want to post on is Indeed, okay? Indeed is good. Now, what most people have problems with on Indeed is that you do have to pay for your applicants. Like, after a certain number of applicants, you got to pay for those, all right? So, I'm not really a big fan of having to pay for anything. I'm really like, you know... Um, I'm, I'm giving y'all something, what, what I got to pay for. And then you don't even know if those people are going to be serious or not. But indeed is a good way to put yourself out there. What I would do is, what people don't know, okay? When indeed, I would tell them to email me in the description. Email me if you're interested. Because who got control over their own email? Me, okay? So now you don't have to, you know... Um, wait on them to uh, apply or have to pay to see your applicants and stuff. Now you, they're emailing you because they done already read in your description, but you got to like space it out. You got to put like E space M space A space I space L space M space space E and you want to space it out so it don't be flagged by Indeed. Shh. Okay. 
That's number three, okay? Now, the another thing that you wanna know is that you have to know what you're marketing. Those are my top three that I'm gonna give. There are many other platforms. I'm talking about ZipRecruiter, Monster Jobs, Jobs to Go. It's so many other platforms, but you know, they're just kind of, I wouldn't, I would use it because you can't help but to go wrong. But as far as being consistent, those are my top three platforms, okay? And social media, when it comes to social media, TikTok is number one, okay? Instagram, and then Facebook. Now, let me rearrange that. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, all right? TikTok is up here, Facebook is second, and Instagram is third. Because Instagram has an aesthetic to it. Instagram is already kind of branded itself that, yeah, you're going to get some people that, you know, may hit you up off of Instagram, but it's not going to be the response that you would get like off of Facebook or TikTok. Because one thing I realized is that more seasoned people are on TikTok than they are on Instagram, you know? So when you have a virtual call center, you want to kind of target a more seasoned audience. You're going to have some college students or some, you know, people that are younger and do do actually want to take seriously working from home but they don't really be having the discipline of working from home they be needing to be held accountable and having to go clock in somewhere so yeah you're going to get a few you know like the little grady bunch that are serious but most of your people that work under your call center i'm telling you guys by experience it's going to be more seasoned people and by more seasoned i mean you know up there in the 40s and up i don't want to say older because you know i don't want y'all to attack me you know 40s is the new 20s i said it all the time but um, TikTok, you got more seasoned people that are scrolling on TikTok all day, every day. They love it. They love it more than the millennials, okay? They love it. And you're promoting your virtual call center, so you got to hop on the trends. When it comes to TikTok, you got to hop on the trends, okay? You cannot be on there again. Arms, hi. I just launched a virtual call center. We're now hiring. Really, uh, uh. Listen, they don't care to hear you talk. Shut up. They don't care. You got to get on the trends, okay? If you see a little dance and they're going pop, 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 pop. Like you want to like, you want to do the dance, do the dance. I'm now hiring. Click the link in my bio. You got your own laptop or a desktop. Work. Work from home. Apply now. Uh, like you want to get part of the trends. Figure out the trends. You got to be creative. Like TikTok is all about trends. It's not even more so just dancing. It's the sounds. It's the songs. Like you want to get part of the trend. If you scroll in on your FYP, your For You page, and you keep hearing a specific sound keep popping up, save that sound. Look at videos that they're doing to that sound. You want to do something cool. This right here in this season, this is working right now. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the, the fingers. But the fingers is working. The fingers is going down. So do something to a different trend, a different sound, something like this. All right. Now, um, TikTok. Then you got Facebook. Facebook is like where your auntie's at, your uncle's at, your auntie's aunties, your auntie's friends, your uncle friends, your mama friends, your daddy friends. Like, you know, everybody that's more seasoned, they on Facebook. They serious. I tell people all the time when I first launched my virtual call center, well, before I launched my virtual call center, just trying to see the feedback that I would get. I said, hey, who wants to work from home? You make your own schedule, set your own hours. If you're over age 18, you got your own laptop or desktop, drop your email below had over 400 comments in less than an hour after coming back on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? So Facebook is always a platform that I would say, yeah, you're gonna get some feedback. And then Facebook groups always, we already said that's number one on the on the, the other the other outside of social media, okay? Um, and last but not least, Instagram. Yes, Instagram is cool, especially if you already got a presence on social media, you know, posting on your story that you're hiring, um, you know, posting, even if it's on your page, posting a video, like now Instagram, you can actually talk. They'll be more engaged probably about you talking or educating or letting them know what you have to offer. TikTok is more so like once you done did the trends and stuff and you build yourself a little bit of rapport, now you can talk, okay? But Instagram, third on the list for a reason. And, and that's that's what I mean. You know, you may get some serious people, but you're probably going to get a lot of BSers too because my response, my feedback from that is a lot of BSers. Now to conclude this whole video, okay, you got to know what you're marketing. You got to know that you own a virtual call center, 
okay? So when somebody comes to you, you should know off the top of your head, what is it that you do? You should not be stuttering or stammering over your words. I own a virtual call center. We're connected with different Fortune 500 companies. And if you have a laptop or desktop, you're over the age of 18, my virtual call center is hiring, okay? And another thing that you guys can do when you are hiring for your virtual call center and you have people that live in a different address when they are applying, you can let them know that they gotta use a friend or family member address. Now, another thing that is a stream within a stream, because y'all know Queen of Many Streams is always thinking of new streams. So I had thought about this probably about two months ago. I said, you know what? I'm going to get a virtual office. A virtual office on iPostal.com. All you have to do is just click... Um, all you have to do is just sign up for a virtual office, $39, $99 a month. That's $40 a month. But if I got 50 people working under my virtual call center that live in different states and they need a virtual office and I let them know, hey, you got to pay me $10 a month to use this virtual address or $5 a month to use this virtual address. And they're not worried about a little $5, $10 come out of their check. Now I done already covered the fees for my $40 virtual office and I done made a Okay, yeah, that's how you secure a stream within a stream, all right? <sighs> Anywho, that was just a little sidebar. But you gotta know what you're giving. You gotta let them know that I am giving you the opportunity to work from home for different Fortune 500 companies, okay? Just like any company, yes, I take out a fee bi-weekly, but I'm not charging you anything up front. Any company that you work for, whether they're taking out taxes, whether they're taking out company fees, they're taking out some fees out of that paycheck, okay? So be happy with my little $49.99 that I am taking out. Or if you even at $59.99, $69.99, be happy that I'm not taking even taxes out of your paycheck. Check, okay oh you had to buy a laptop because you didn't have one okay cool you can write that off on taxes and the only thing i want to also throw up in there chromebooks are an absolute not absolutely not absolutely not when somebody say hey i got a chromebook can i use a chromebook absolutely not when you say that they're gonna be like well dang did it have to be that deep yes it did absolutely not you cannot use a chromebook chromebooks they just don't download the softwares that the companies need them to download it's just a whole lot a whole lot it's just yeah it's not it okay so chromebooks are huge absolutely not um outside of that oh set up an amazon storefront you guys so like people that need a laptop or desktop you can look up some laptops and desktops and add them to your amazon storefront for those that just want to work from home but don't even got a computer yet you send them the link to your amazon storefront now they don't brought a computer now you get a commission off of that now that's just if they need a laptop or desktop but let me tell y'all one thing they are going to need that they will have to go through you for unless they just do not like you for whatever reason i cannot assume all right go to your amazon storefront and add the headset that they're going to need i'm gonna leave the link in the description for the headset that they're going to need the headset is 29.95 okay 29.95 is the best one they got one for 19.99 but i tell them just go ahead and get that 30 dollars headset like that's the that's what they're going to need to start taking calls okay now that uh 29.95 headset you add that to your amazon storefront now when you're doing your onboarding video you can let them know you're going to need a headset to work from home um i'm going to send you the link you can email them the link whatever it may be or they may ask you okay hey i'm about to start training i need that headset can you send me the link you send them the link to your Amazon storefront. Now you get paid a commission because they just brought the Amazon headset off of your um, Amazon storefront. A stream within a stream, okay? So that's just the way I do business. I'm always thinking streams within streams, queen of many streams in real life. Yeah, big dude. Mm. Yeah, okay? So outside of that, you guys, know what it is that you're giving. You're giving an opportunity for them to be their own boss, for them to take back control of their time and money. Like that's just way of, what is, that's what everybody wants to do. Financial freedom. They want to take back control of their time, their money so that they can make time for the things that matter most. Okay. You want to go ahead and hit on their pain points. Are you a stay at home mom? You just had a kid. You do not want to put your baby in daycare. You rather work out the comfort of your own home. My virtual call center is hiring. Are you looking to be with your kids? kids like you know you want to wake up in the morning drop them off at school go to the gym be able to not have to stick to a schedule like you want that flexibility my call center is hiring do you not even have a car is it a struggle for you to get to and from work why not work out the comfort of your own home is these gas prices really affecting your pockets like is sitting in traffic really messing up your whole work schedule your sleep schedule work from home wake up in your pjs okay and let me give you guys the um call center name that one of my students did not go with because they went with a different call center name um 
what was it? I think it was working in my PJs or something like that. I think that would be so dope for marketing. I think you guys could really like, really, um, really like brand that and market that like crazy. Like y'all can be in y'all PJs. Y'all can do a whole photo shoot in y'all PJs. I'm gonna do a campaign like that anyway. Like I don't care what y'all, what, like, I don't care if y'all took the name. I'm still gonna do working in my PJs. You know, I may do one for Christmas. Who knows? Like, in my pajamas, working from home. Like, sell the fact that you're working from home. Like, the comfort of y'all home. You know what I'm saying? So, outside of that, I hope this video was informative, y'all. I need y'all to go ahead and like and subscribe because I know I done gave y'all some gems. And this is just how to start y'all call center. Gave y'all a few marketing tips. My next video, y'all let me know what y'all want. Drop it in the comments. I am working on something bigger than me. I am stepping into another industry inside of the telecommunications industry. Um, I'm about to, I don't, I don't even want to hint at it, okay? Y'all know I'm not, I'm not announcing nothing. So everything is in black and white. So God gives me that approval of, you know, just release it. It ain't to be released right now. So I'm going I'm to stay mute. I'm going to stay silent. But you guys, go ahead and grab that ebook. I'm leaving the link in the description. If you are looking to get on the phone call with me, I told you guys I do 15-minute consultations, hour consultations, you guys. And yes, I do not hold back. I'm not trying to, you know, 15 minutes. If I can answer everything in 15 minutes, I'm answering everything in 15 minutes. It's not just, okay, book 15 minutes and you go over time and I'm trying to get you to, you know, run out of time or something. Nah, I don't even like being on the phone, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, respectfully, I really don't. So, um, outside of that, if you guys are looking to partner with me, you're looking to work with me as your mentor, you guys already know I got the different packages. I got the um, Zoom training. I got the in-person training. And I do not do the um, DIFY anymore, by the way. I do not do DIFY. That's not something I'm focused on in this season in my life right now. Um, I don't even have the capacity to do that. Like I'm at my max when it comes to that. I'll let you guys know when the DIFY opens back up. But as for now, I am doing Zoom trainings with three months mentorships or my in-person trainings with six months mentoring afterward. Um, afterwards, okay? So if you guys want more information about that, go ahead and check out my last video on the virtual call center industry. I broke down my different packages. No longer doing course replays because I really want to work with people hands on. I do not want it to be upon you to like have your own success. I don't want you to watch a video and I, I like I've seen, I can see when people open the video, I have people that still have not opened a video, but they paid for it. You know what I'm saying? That's bizarre to me. So I only like to do hands on one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And if it's not that, then it's the ebook, okay? So I'm gonna leave all the descriptions. If you are looking to work with me as your mentor, text mentor to 470-906-9080. You guys know the Zoom training is 5K. You guys know my in-person trainings are 15K, all right? And if you need funding, you know 680 and up credit score, you got some age on your credit. You don't care about no good credit. People got good credit, but they ain't got no credit cards. They ain't got no payments. They ain't got nothing re like reporting on their credit, just good credit. You need some trade lines, boo. You need something, you know what I'm saying? But if you guys meet that criteria, you want to know more about the funding process or you're just ready to get signed up and work with me, you know, I am open in this holiday season, taking on some more mentees, some more clients. So go ahead and text mentor to 470-906-9080. And regardless of if you want me to be your mentor or not, I wish many, not wish, I pray many figures, okay, on y'all business. I pray that you guys have the wisdom to create and innovate, okay, that you will not be stuck, hindered, or stagnated in Jesus' name. I pray that you guys are going to go out here and launch that call center. God is going to send you the clientele. He's going to send you the agents. He's going to open up the borders. He's going to open up the floodgates over your business, over your, your, your finances, over everything. I pray over that in Jesus' name, all right? So with that being said, I'm out. I'm checking out. I have to come and drop y'all some updates and just you know, give y'all another call in a video on how y'all can actually do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So peace and blessings. Love y'all and happy holidays. <laughs>